Hey friend, I've been prioritizing myself a lot lately, so I've been kind of MIA. The older I get, the more I realize how important my relationship with myself is. And I'm no stranger to feelings of anxiety. You know, if I'm wondering if I'm enough, am I pretty enough, am I smart enough, am I good enough? So I'm learning to embrace all the things that make me happy, big and small. The big things like surrounding myself with great people who actually love and cherish me and actually treat me kindly. And the little things like wearing my best perfume for the day or putting on my favorite jewelry. Let me fill you in on what you've missed. Number one, I wanna say happy new year. I hope you guys had a wonderful New Year celebration and uh, Christmas celebration because I'm very late. Uh, my nails are prepared for Valentine's Day. This is my first video of 2023 going up. Before I let you guys in on the super juicy good stuff, I wanted to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. I'm very excited again to be collaborating and partnering up with them for their Valentine's Day campaign. In honor of all the little things that I love, here's a quick peek at how I store all of my favorite Ana Luisa pieces. I love being able to see everything in my collection like this, so it's really easy for me to pick out the specific details that I want for myself for that day. For Valentine's Day, you can pick something up for yourself, buy one, get one half off, or if you miss the sale, you can use my code DIANE20 for 20% off. If there's one thing that I really feel like makes the look like makes me feel put together a more elevated version of me and my look it's always adding jewelry if i just wanted to feel like a little bit i don't know just like a bad bitch you know you just put some jewelry on are you kidding i've been very blessed and grateful to have been working with them for a really long time and because of that i'm able to see just the quality and the longevity of their pieces i'm still talking about them and i'm still wearing their pieces because they're timeless and they're made so well that they're made to last and i've given out anna luisa pieces as as gifts multiple times. It's just one of those things that I hold really near and dear to my heart because of how good it makes me feel. Even if I'm not, even if I don't have my face done up, if my outfit looks kind of whack, just makes me feel that much more put together, that much more like I've paid attention to myself. I've given myself those fine little details. That's just what I love so much about playing around with all the pieces. They've got so many pieces on their website. Quality is always the biggest thing for me, especially when you're investing your money into it. The good thing about Ana Luisa is that they have very fair prices. Please go check out the link in my description bar below if you're interested in any of their pieces. And I hope that you do find something that you love for yourself. Self-love is the best love. Now that was so corny, I am so sorry and i am also very sore because i just worked out <coughs> my whole body yesterday she's not doing well she's not doing great <laughs> happy 2023 since this is the first video i am posting in the new year um even though i'm very very late i already recognize that it is well into february i don't want to be melodramatic here and say like i've been going through a lot but i feel like i've been going through a lot my goal i think for 2023 and going forward is to prioritize love in all aspects of my life um, and I've really been focusing a lot on self-love to preface this I do want to say that my husband and I are doing great so it's not like I am focusing on me because I'm the only person I have I don't think I made this I know I vlogged it but it's been like crazy and I haven't had time to edit so I really don't think that I've published this yet but I stopped my birth control pill after 14 years of being on it uh at it kind of just happened to coincide with the end of the year like at christmas time like i think it was boxing day or something that i took my very last pill ever i wanted to give my body a little bit of rest uh, a lot of bit of rest actually since i've been on the pill since i was 14 and i um just thought it was time it was time for me i think to get my hormones under control in a more natural way i had been put on a bunch of different brands i guess but this the latest one that i had been put on was called seasonique or something like that it was a three month 
birth control so I would take it for three months and then have a period and then go another three months and then have a period which was it had its pros so that I was put on because I had really really painful periods I only have to bleed once every three months versus once every month so that's the preface of that like I said, it had its pros, but it also had a lot of cons. It made me really depressed. It it made me gain a lot of weight, um, which didn't help with the feelings of depression, I guess. And it made me feel like I couldn't um, feel things. <laughs> like, I feel like I, I felt things, but at a capacity. So I felt like I couldn't feel as happy as I could before and I think I did mention that in a video when I stopped taking the birth control at the end of the year it's been what is it now it's February so it's been about two months or maybe like one full month that I've been off of it I feel I feel period I actually feel a lot now which is great like I feel true happiness as I did before which was great um, but I also experienced a lot of anxiety on top of that because of that I feel like I wanted to take a step towards my mental health journey I booked my very first therapy session which is really big and in taking care of myself and like focusing on self-love and focusing just like on my own journey whether or not I think I will benefit from therapy I'm not really sure but I did always want to give it a try I don't know help find healthy coping mechanisms and maybe change the way I think I'll keep you guys updated with that but I am looking forward to putting myself and my mental health first I feel like the last month and a half has really been a lot of internal stuff mainly because I have been off of the hormonal birth control and I can literally feel like the difference that it makes this video is not gonna be a whole like hormonal birth control video I'm gonna make another video uh, going in depth about that at another time so coming off of it I did my skin really did not did not like that so I've definitely had my fair share of pimples just breakouts in general which has definitely affected my self-esteem but I feel like I'm more accepting because I knew that that was something that I would be going into so just really focusing on taking care of myself drinking enough water going to the gym these are all these are all reasons that I like really took the bull by the horns and I'm like bitch you gotta take care of yourself and you gotta love yourself because after I stopped birth control I could not sleep I couldn't sleep I was breaking out it, the world was rough for me okay like at least I could feel feelings but like the world was rough I couldn't sleep for like two weeks and I had my husband went out and bought me some melatonin because I literally couldn't sleep and then even the first three times that I took the melatonin I still couldn't sleep also because it's the new year and obviously new year new me I am trying to focus all, a lot more on the things that make me happy my intentions this year is to focus a lot on the relationships that I value in my life putting a lot of value in in the people that matter the most to me and on top of that I have learned to let go of a lot of relationships that no longer make me feel good at the end of the day if I get anxiety seeing your name pop up on my phone if you just don't treat me good like I I, I don't want to take that into 2023 and then also for the rest of my life like I feel like this year is really my year of just prioritizing people that actually love me and that I actually love spending time with and I can actually see in my future as as good people also FYI we literally just went to go um, celebrate two of our friends birthdays yesterday we went to pursuit OCR in in Etobicoke and it was a lot of fun we went to the Mandarin after I also my shit up I sprained my ankle and now I can't walk right which is great one of the things that I'm really focusing on in the whole aspect of self-care and self-love is indulging my inner child I don't know why I have such a strange relationship with the things that I enjoyed as a child I think a lot of people do mainly because I feel like I was teased a lot for it and I feel like it was different than what a lot of the kids that I grew up around like y'all were watching Disney and I was watching anime and like some people straight up told me that I was being weird for liking the stuff that I liked so for 
I think for like the formative years that I could remember, I I made an executive decision to stop liking things like anime, reading manga. I feel like I had to hide a lot of the things that I liked because it wasn't what the other girls in my elementary school also liked. I am genuinely so happy that I am letting my inner child be happy and not be embarrassed by it. I think that's the biggest thing about the whole self-love thing. Mo most people don't make me feel bad for it anymore. I think it's just like a it's like one of those things that I expect because that's how my childhood was like. Just allowing myself that, uh, I don't know, that peace to like what I like. Since we are on the topic of like love and romance and Valentine's Day, can I just recommend something to you? I just picked up these new mangas from Indigo. Uh, oh, they're upside down. Love that. If you guys are not into this, sorry, but bear with me this is a new series i think it just came out not too long ago it's called my happy marriage so if you're like into romance this is a good manga to read and also i think they are adapting this into an anime as well i thought i saw something about that so this is really good don't say i didn't warn you because i recommend last little topic that i wanted to touch on is my relationship with myself i feel like your relationship with your body and yourself and your self-image and your self-worth and stuff like that is very tumultuous and like i said before because i had started that birth control i gained a lot of weight um and it took a while in the gym for me to lose some of that weight but i still haven't lost all of it There's a lot of times actually where people will comment on my weight. Some people will straight up look me in the eye and tell me that I've gotten fat. Some people will tell me that I look good with all the extra weight that I have. I just don't care for comments, I guess, about my body because I feel like, why are you commenting on my body? Like, I get it. Like, people do that, but I don't care to hear it. I'm really working on just loving what i look like and, and and whatever stage my body is in otherwise i would just be wallowing in self-pity and being like you know a lot of people make me feel like i'm so fat because i don't look the way that i used to look when i was 15. they hadn't seen me since i was like literally 80 pounds so now i've gained a little bit of weight and they look at me and they're like wow you're so fat i feel like that is something that so many people go through and uh, it's just one of those things that is a part of life because like why are people the way that they are i don't really know but it uh builds character <laughs> at the end of the day no matter what anybody else has to say about me or my body it is my responsibility to choose myself day after day and it's my responsibility to love myself day after day I am choosing to love myself fiercely, and I hope you do too. Before I sign off for the rest of the night, I just want to say thank you so much for watching today's video. It really, um, I don't know, pulled up my heartstrings a little bit. I know the name of the game today was love, but it really did just put me in a great mindset. And I hope that you guys feel... <laughs> feel me pouring my heart out to you. I love Valentine's Day not just because it's fun and you buy flowers and chocolates and pretty jewelry, but because it means a lot. Love just means a lot to me. Please remember to check out my link in the description bar below if you guys want to shop at Ana Luisa. Their sale right now is buy one, get one half off. But if you're seeing this video after the sale is already over, you can use my code Diane20, which will get you 20% off your whole order, which I really hope that you take advantage of because their pieces are chef's kisses and before i let you go because i already told you that i was going to be 100 authentic with the things that i like and the things that i let myself indulge in to appease my inner child i just got two new mangas today <laughs> and i have four more coming but let me show you this is my tiny little collection right now um my happy marriage which i showed you already volumes one and two yashahime volumes one and two i will not watch the anime because i heard it's a disgrace so there's that <laughs> And then um, I just got this one in, Chobits Volume 1. Please! It's a hardcover. It's so cute. They have colored 
pictures. And then I got this bad boy, Inuyasha, which I'm obsessed with. It's probably like it. It's my favorite anime. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna put it out there. I've loved it ever since I was little, and I still love it to this day. This is like, I think this is the last manga. So it's got like three volumes in one. So it's tick, it's tickums. I'm trying to collect the whole series. Um, might take me a while, but this is one that was on sale, so I picked it up. I'm gonna go for real now. Thank you for appeasing me. Check out Anna Luisa in the description bar below. Happy shopping, and I am gonna go now. I'm gonna go cuddle with my dog. I'm gonna go cuddle with my husband. I'm gonna have a great night. Happy Valentine's Day, and have a wonderful start to your 2023. Bye.